Okay, hi, welcome back. Happy Monday. Gracie, try and blow a bubble. <laughs> Is that you tried? <laughs> we left off with doing a polar punch in frigid winter New York waters. Now it's New Year's and we're leaving New York and this is where we're picking it. We are leaving New York today. Gracie, are you, what was your favorite part about New York? Swimming and the couch turning into a bed. What was your favorite part about New York? Was it family? Was it... What? The museum was your favorite part? Yes, we're going to Buffalo. We did it. All right. It took us, what, a good two hours to sort through gifts and pack everything? <laughs> All right, you guys. We're about there. Our old church, right here. A lot of pictures in this parking lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Guys, remember this one? Okay, one of my favorite videos of Christian happened right here. Hello? Who are you talking to? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> the I know, what's she gonna look like? You be so big. You be so big. I miss you. I miss you so much. I know I saw you. Up. First thing she did was put her <gasps> police officer outfit on. Is that your favorite? Okay, go get bad guys. Bye. Someone's house is on fire. What? Police have to come too. But the firefighter has to find all his stuff first. That'd be a good cue for Christian to walk in. He not coming in though. 
Gracie, good to be home? There he is. Hey, you guys, it's January 1st of a new year. What? <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted. This is the first glance of 2020. While we were out in New York, Ben's grandpa died, so he went out to Mississippi for three days. I left my house last night at 10 p.m. I know, we just got back from New York. My grandfather died, and I just really felt strongly that I needed to go, and I wanted to go, but that extra push just made me go. Flew to Memphis. It took over an hour to get the rental car straightened out, so I had it confirmed. Drove in the rain for two hours, two and a half hours from Memphis. You know, calling on my cousin, my uncle, and my cousin's street. I haven't been here in nine years. I'm so excited. So my uncle, his big old ranch for his horse property, is in the middle of the woods. So this is real country living. I definitely feel like this is the right place I need to be this weekend. So this is my Uncle Mike's and Aunt Janet's property here in Starkville, Mississippi. Horses everywhere. He used to have about over 100 horses here, but now he's only got about 64. Still a lot. <laughs> Watering all the horses. Feeding time, feeding time. Hey Gracie and Christian, look what I look what I'm around. This is Buck. His name is Buck. There's horses everywhere. Love you. It is 11.41 p.m. here in Arizona. Just got in the car. It's been a crazy week. Tuesday I was in New York. Tuesday night we landed like at 11. Got home around midnight. Spent like 12 hours at home. Went back to the airport Wednesday night. Ugh, what a week. But a very good week. Saw literally all the family. Both my wife's side and my own side. Christian, you excited for your big day? I just need to put makeup on. Hey! You excited Dad's home? Dad just came home from Mississippi late, 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 late last night. That's for you. It's a cowboy belt buckle. A real one. A real one. It was his, your great grandpa's. Great grandpa Doyle's caraway. You should pick which one you want. Look who's back! Don't ever leave me ever again! <laughs> Three days without him. Mm. Uh, Christian, today's a big day. Yeah, yeah what's today? Uh, big kids class? Yeah. It's Christian's very first day in primary! Look at that face! That's a face in primary. He's gonna love it because this gets up every fast and testimony and then after church he'll find a microphone in the primary room to give like pretend church talks so now that he'll be assigned to give like little talks in primary he's gonna be so excited also if we look a little extra chipper today it's because today is the first day that we don't have eight o'clock church it's 9 30 in the morning and we are feeling funky fresh although parking is not as great as options, but we are chipper. <laughs>
Oh, yeah, show me where you just were. I come to two. How? You have two rooms? Yeah. Right there. That one. This one? Yeah. That's your other room? You have two rooms? Yeah. Yeah. Should we go get Gracie? Yeah. Come on. How was your first day in your big kid class? Good. Did you love it? Yeah. <laughs> That's a Book of Mormon? And who's that by the tree? Joseph? It came out awesome. Christian, are you stealing a sticker? <laughs> oh, wake up, Dad. Send help. up for and the kids just started okay we're back in action except this time we got all the babies look at baby indy back there yay ben is coaching again we got most of the same team hey josh how do you feel about coaching gracie and nixon look at our look at we both have babies and our both those husbands are coaching and then I play with him, except I am bad at it. No, she, no she's not. She's really fast, though. <laughs> what do you have to say? Um, nothing. Nothing? Bubblegum team. You're gonna bubblegum after your game. Okay, I went to the gym. We had an intermission. Now we're back at it for Grace's team. Paper. I got two of them. Two times. Should we go for three? Oh, the chomp, chomp. <laughs> yeah, go for three. <laughs> Pretty exciting. Cool. Letterbird and Arizona stick. In two days, I am leaving for New Zealand to speak seven times in New Zealand. That video will come out eventually. <laughs> we'll get into this week's message and montage. I'll start the music. Look, there's no nail. That's all skin. I'm missing a nail. Anyways.
I would not care about the church if I grew up in the church. I know that for a fact. I personally needed the contrast because with the contrast came a surety and determination to stay when it's hard. And it is hard. I'm good at unconsciously limiting our limitless God. I limit him to only a few adjectives and when he doesn't fit within that simple box that I myself place around him of how he comes to me and answers me and helps me. I wonder and doubt where he is and his role in my life. But when I am reminded of the reality of my before and after of joining the church, I know in those quiet, hard times, he is showing me what else. Because of going so long without him and his resources, and because of the contrast I felt, I know that he is always there. So in the times where I don't see him or hear him or understand him, I know there is something more to learn of him. If we know that God is there and he is real, then during those hard times, I start looking and noticing different ways he is answering me and trying to guide me and teach me and bring me to better things and show me how great he really is. Through my stubbornness and determination and experimenting, by giving God the benefit of the doubt, I'm starting to see just how limitless and meticulous he really is in our lives. Our God really is so good and vast and limitless, and he'll show us if we choose him over the easy questioning and second guessing and look for him to see what else he has. Big one. <laughs>